What are redeeming qualities of humanity that nobody mentions? Our ability to make others laugh. Genuinely one of my favorite things is to make my friends laugh at something silly I say or do. It's just a nice feeling so see someone around you, who you care for deeply, do something as simple as to laugh at you. Plus everyone has a different and unique laugh. I feel like it's something that's underrated as well. Not just in the way it sounds, but with the facial expressions as well. I made eye contact with a random older guy with his wife in a parking lot today, and he smiled and asked how I was going. It wasn't creepy, and it was just nice. Our innate desire to help those in need. Help is something that everyone needs and someone is always willing to be of service. Being inherently flawed never stops us from trying to rise above it, and recently, historically speaking, we've gone to great lengths to create systems in which those who give in to their flaws are stopped or minimized in the damage they cause. We strive for perfection, because achieving it was never the point. How we are able to develop medicine to cure the wildest and most deadly of diseases. I mean all you have to look at is polio, a disease which in the past has caused massive amounts of pain and suffering to many families. In the 1940s it would kill or paralyze over 500,000 people a year. In 2017 there have only been 22 cases reported. It's amazing what humanity can do to save their own kin. <laughs> Tragic events caused by the worst people also led to selflessness by the best people. Like the Las Vegas shooting at the country concert. Caused by a terrible person. But there was also people doing what they can to help. People were leading other people to safety. People were offering their pickups to help carry wounded. As well as all the selfless armed personnel who risked their lives to secure the area. In pretty much every town, there's a space. Often in a prime real estate location. Set aside for free public education. Paid for by taxes and available for everyone to use. Based on the principle that knowledge and art should be encouraged to spread and not kept just for the rich. You can go there and get a lifetime's worth of information and entertainment for no more trouble than the promise that you'll give it back in a timely fashion and in a good condition for other people to use it. And people actually do it. If the mere concept of public libraries doesn't warm the cockles of your heart I don't know what would. I heard somewhere that at one point in time there were only 10,000 humans on the earth we almost went extinct. The fact that we came back from that means a, our ancestors were f asterisk asterisk king badass, and b, we outsmarted nature and survived on the brink of extinction for thousands of years, which is hundreds of generations. We had so many chances to go extinct, but we f asterisk asterisk king survived. Imagine if we went extinct back then, the world wouldn't have changed at all, it would still be 100% nature, no cities, nothing. We have the best hats of any species. Our kindness. The evening news makes sure to fill everyone up with negativity, however, the people that I encounter on a daily basis are far more kind than bad. Just the other day I saw about 15 people get out of their cars on the highway to chase down a goose and her goslings that were running across the road. That's just one example that I see to show that humans are good. Our art. Humanity creates beauty and emotion for the sake of beauty and emotion. Our ability to laugh at things that hurt us. It takes time, sure, but it makes us that much stronger. No matter how you get there or where you end up, Human beings have this miraculous gift to make that place home. Lots of talk of evil and prejudice, but I'd such an astounding number of us pass the abandoned baby test, catch yourself villainizing someone. If he found an abandoned baby in the middle of nowhere, he'd probably make sure it was okay he good villainizing herself. Can create things that make others cry from pure beauty. Movies. Music. RTTC. A reasonably fit human is one of the best long distance runners in nature. We may not be able to catch the majority of animals, but we can chase them until they are exhausted and collapse. Our ancestors hunted like that for centuries before the bow and arrow or atlatl was invented. I'd sag determination. We do things simply because they can't be done, or just to say yeah, I did that. Look at the North Pole. People died exploring it, and our solution? 
I think it's really cute how humans anthropomorphize everything. It makes me optimistic. Because while I'm sure there will be people who abuse Android and whatnot, if you can feel genuinely attached to, to a Roomba I think the majority of us will treat them well. We're all faced throughout our lives with agonizing decisions, moral choices. Some are on a grand scale, most of these choices are on lesser points. But we define ourselves by the choices we have made. We are, in fact, the sum total of our choices. Events unfold so unpredictably, so unfairly human happiness does not seem to be included in the design of creation. It is only we, with our capacity to love, that give meaning to the indifferent universe. And yet, most human beings seem to have the ability to keep trying, and even find joy from simple things, like their family, their work, and from the hope that future generations might understand more. The incredible amount of fries we can produce and eat. Dude. So much fries. They never considered our ability to stand, to enter a camera show a 100 foot robot. That we would rise to the challenge I love that phrase from the Pacific Rim trailer, because it's basically what we are. Sadly we don't have giant robots. Edit. Yet. We actually try, and solve problems with the earth that aren't even our own problems. Edit. Im referencing animals like giant pandas going extinct. Make sure to like and subscribe for more daily content. Thanks for watching.